the national bird of Syria. And the joke is one of them is a bombing plane. I hate how much of my life I let iPhoney suck out of me. I really should just become a politician to try and get out of the chronically online game. Hi again, guys. And I have several years worth of trauma that I really can't do much about other than channel it into something monetizable. A large chunk of that trauma comes from the amount of time I committed to scrolling through iFunny when I needed to kill time. When I first got a smartphone were dark times. I really would have been better off getting into Reddit way earlier than I did in my life because there are levels to the way you doom scroll. And because of that, I asked y'all to send me the worst iFunny post you have ever seen growing up. I thought it would be like a decent sort of pseudo group therapy session. The one stipulation I make right now is do not send me the Keemstar tweet they made. We do not talk about that. If you enjoy this video, this card at the end will take you to another one like that. Also, less than 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. In physics the other day, my teacher started having this coughing fit. So he says, I think Satan is choking me. And I just went, sorry, and they stopped coughing. OMG, I think everyone in my class is terrified now. Yeah, Obama was there, everybody started clapping, you were also on a public transit system. This is how these things usually go. There's a certain era of Tumblr that these kind of posts originate from, and you can tell it's from Tumblr by the gray line on the left side. If you've been there, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and shit was rough. This type of potentially made up story was incredibly indicative of the time that it was made during, and when I look back on some of those things, I really feel bad for the people who told these stories and were actually telling the truth. Statistically speaking, when you make these kind of jokes or tell these kind of stories, at least one of them has to be true, and they got caught in the swamp of people who were saying they met the president 40 times over and had sex with them. It's a rough life out here, man. Had this bad boy since 2016, of course you did. When I was a young boy, my father gave me a small loan of $1 million. In another lifetime, I would have read that in a really dog shit Donald Trump impression. But listen, man, it's been close to a decade since those times of my life, and I'm doing everything I can to forget them. When we're talking about iFunny being unfunny as shit, uh, a lot of the stuff you're gonna see is gonna be reminiscent of 2016 because it came from that year. My first brush with liberal memes that I at all identified with was during this election season. I need y'all to know, I was Republican when I was 16. It was bad. My life was bad. Imagine being queer and also saying that out loud. I don't disagree with the sentiment of most of these things, but Christ, why could they have not been funnier? Please let this be a normal field trip. With the frizz? No way! I won't lie, this one has made me giggle on more than one account. A, when I first saw it, and B, when I actually included it in the video. There was a long thought process if I wanted to out myself in the way that I would if I actually did cover it. But let's be real, the Zootopia abortion comic shit is some of my most popular videos on both channels. And because of the fact that I've researched this more intensively than I think anybody ever wants to in their life, it hits a lot harder. And I mean, if we're being honest, that's the case with all reference comedy. Inside you, there are two wolves. Mom, do you want a brunch at 1215? From a anonymous person, want to snort Adderall? This is genuinely such a slot machine of word combos. I guess out of context, it could be funny, but if you like take the caption into account, it's pretty ass. There are two wolves. I want to snort, insert drug, Adderall. Also, why is your mom being inside you part of the metaphor? Please do not tell me the length of strap on she's using. That would really fuck up my day. You know, unless she was fucking up my day. You know what I'm saying? Also, why leave her public but censor the other dude who said that way more out-of-pocket shit? You're putting your poor mother on blast who's apparently inside you instead of letting the dude who's offering you drugs to get his day in the sun, man. Like, what are your priorities? Who knows if this is from iFunny? Who gives a fuck anymore? I dead know hella predators, but I still hang with them just to see how they mind work. You gotta spend a lot of time behind enemy lines if you wanna actually take down your enemy. I know you understand what I'm saying if you don't fuck with predators. You guys don't fuck with predators, right? Right? Not saying you should hang out with predators, I'm just saying you don't fuck with predators. <laughs> To be fair though, the guy who originally suggested that is kind of funny himself. Like seriously, who knows this kind of information, seeks it out, and who gives a fuck? Like if you're watching this video and you laugh at the post that I'm reading to you, do you really care if it's from iFunny? I'm not saying you shouldn't, I'm just saying to self-analyze a little bit and to be honest with yourself the same way I am. I think about this image often for the worst reasons. There's not very many good reasons to think about this image, uh, just consider her, I only date bad boys. Me? 
this goddamn dork ass, dweeb ass, fuck ass image. It's a very 2018 meme. Uh, let, let's check off the list real quick. Thanos, Infinity Gauntlet, the Sans Eye, and fuck it, let's make it Mega Mind. That's a combo of enough random stuff to reach the minimum threshold of funny for people in that year. And I'm not putting myself above those people, but looking back, I think we can all kind of acknowledge what we were on. Some bullshit is some people's answer, alcoholism is others, that would be mine. It's just kind of an extension of the XD random era. You know, the ones that originated from the mid-2000s, the late 2010s, that even in 2018, where this meme comes from we were dogging on. Little did we know, actually I think most people knew, we were just kind of doing the same thing and reiterating it. And it kind of ties back into me the fact that we should not feel ashamed for where we came from, but only look to do better. Would we be able to make things that are as funny as we find them now if we were not unfunny in the past? There are several angles on this topic you have to consider. White House, why are you the president, Elon Musk? It's a role given to me by the internet people. Christ. <sighs> It is kind of weird to think that at one point in the general internet zeitgeist that we were all pretty down for Elon Musk. Now we just all kind of collectively clown him between the Cybertruck, the shit he's done with Twitter, and we're not calling it X, it's Twitter. I've seen plenty of moments in videos where people accidentally call it X because of osmosis, and then they get mad at themselves for not calling it Twitter because we do not like that name. But nowadays, the formerly pro-Elon Musk internet has kind of converted to understanding he's a weird little freak. Hello, baby. Are you interested in a sh Sugar daddy? I have diabetes. Sorry. Objectively, the strongest counter against getting groomed on iPhone. You really can't underplay the strength of a counter. Like, if you can rebuff someone no matter what you say and it gets you out of an uncomfortable situation, you gotta take it, man. Like, if I'm about to get stabbed and I gotta shoot the dude to make sure I don't get stabbed, I'ma do it. And in this case, no one got physically hurt. If I had a dollar for every time I fake laughed at work, I wouldn't even need this fucking job. <laughs> this is how I feel about YouTube and making content for y'all. I don't even script this shit. I am absolutely phoning it in right now. Y'all think I'm joking, and I might be. I'm never gonna tell you. I gotta keep the suspension of disbelief in order to keep me doing the same thing that I'm doing right now. But outside of my incredibly privileged position, this is a sentiment I think most folk would agree with today. The issue is, the format that this statement is made in is instantly unappealing to anyone below the age of 30. So they see this post that are like, Ugh, why did you say it like that? And they're instantly not fucking with it in the same way that I don't. <laughs> Classmate, how did you do on the exam? Me? I'm not sure. I answered every question though. Uh, the answer is the square hole, to make an outdated reference. This alphabet order is probably the DNA sequence of the next evolution of humanity. They made some of the letters here that don't fit in the places they put them in do some gymnastics that I think you could kill someone over. Look what they did to my brother K by putting it in the pee hole lol. Me eating dirt previously contaminated with anthrax in my latest video. <laughs> Arguably that shit is just hard as hell. You know this guy kind of looks like my buddy Leon Massey because they're both bald. Those are the defining characteristics I see in most people. Does they have hair? What color is the hair? That's it. Oh, also, are they white? I I'm gonna be honest, like, whatever happened to threatening to send anthrax to people in the mail? But it's probably one of the hardest death threats you could make of all time. But as a threat on somebody's life, it just really didn't have that much longevity. I feel like it had so much more to give, and we just kind of ran out on it. I'm not saying we should bring it back, because I don't think you should be sending anthrax to anybody's mail, but what happened to wordplay, man? I cropped this MF, but woman stand, woman go. Man stand, watermelon, oh, he means mango. Yeah. Uh, you're a fucking idiot. That's not a mango. That's a watermelon. Idiot. And I gotta ask, why are all the women macros stock photos? But on the other hand, the only man present is Chris Evans. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that a man was the person who made this. I know for a fact that your dumbass does not look like Chris Evans. None of us fucking do, because none of us are Chris Evans. Are you stupid? Average American high schools be like, uh, shooting randoms. I don't know. This was absolutely made by a British person. There's not really a lot of other ways it could have been created. I imagine if a British person's watching this video and they saw this meme, they would laugh at it unironically because y'all are easy. That said, I can compliment the meme in that I kind of love that the perspective implies that the viewer of the meme is the shooter. It's in first person and they're dual wielding and they're not holding either of the pistols correctly. It's kind of gas. Mm.
Shoddy bad. You know what? Let's not lie to ourselves. This one is gas. That face looks AI generated before AI generated faces were in the zeitgeist. I just kind of fuck with the expression he's making, even if it was a real person who made it. If you presented this to me without the context of it being iFunny, I think I would still laugh. You could probably convince me that the iFunny logo was added in post as an ironic touch. The electric bill. Oh, Ooga, ooga. Squirter, you should probably put those things back in your skull. You might not uh, be able to see for much longer if you keep them like that. I'm recording this video on the first of the month of June, and uh, this is actually kind of how I feel. Turns out having an epic gamer PC does not do much for your electric bill. I really can't catch a break in this bitch. Not only are my hours self-motivated and I can sleep in however late I want to, but I also have to pay for the consequences of my actions. This is fucked up. Uh, man, this is not a drill, ifunny.co. It's barely a fucking hammer, dude. What nails are you gonna ram in with that tungsten rod of steel? That comment made no sense, but like, look at it, it's pathetic. It's not a tool. It's barely good for sticking up your ass and barely anything else, if that at all. Christ, I need to step out of the goddamn room. If you guys enjoyed this video, that card I mentioned will be on screen. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Anyways, this has been quite, and I got nothing good to say to you. I'm sick of y'all.